There's a ship sailing on the water When them waves have driven her astray There are dangers near the shoreline
to work to try to provide warmer, safer, drier homes for those that can. <coughs> right? Well, that's the background. Now, here's the story. Uh, <clears throat> we were working on a house that already, uh, we were to uh, dig footings for a foundation. Right? Now, footings uh, are holes that you want to dig about two foot by two foot by two foot. And uh, uh, you put concrete in there, it makes a good solid foundation. That's not a terribly difficult task, except that this house, and we, we'll call it a house, but it really was a mobile home, already had an addition started. So there was about a, a 16 foot floor already built, and it already had some, some wall studs up and such. Problem was, there's no building codes in the Appalachians, so these folks built this with cinder blocks right next to a mountain. So as the water would come down, it wasn't going to be long before this wonderful uh, addition was no longer there. And so, you know, usually you, you go in with shovels and you dig. Well, this floor was in the way. So we had to do this crawl thing underneath the floor. We ended up using garden trowels and filling up two-gallon buckets, pass them back, Back and forth, back and forth. 16 holes. It took us two days to dig 16 holes. I, I was very, very proud of our work. <laughs> Tuesday night, it rained. <laughs> and I'm talking Noah kind of rain. <laughs> we got back to the uh, to the work site on Wednesday and it looked like we'd never even been here. I excused myself from the group and I went to have a little chat with God because I was not happy. And I know I probably looked like a cartoon. I was shaking my fists and throwing rocks and kicking sticks and stuff. I was questioning God. Why are you doing this to us? We came down here to do something good for these people. This is what we get. Thanks a lot. Well, what I learned is this, that sometimes when you question God, you might get the lightning bolt, you know. Sometimes when you question God, he puts his arm around you and he says, you know, if you just shut up for a minute, I've got something to tell you. Raining from above 
crying on the mountain, tears of love.
Well, David said, I'm uh, calling you out. You think you're bad, I've got no doubt. Well, we'll be the high noon. We'll find out. Well, folks, he said, man, you've got to be nuts. Oh, the lion, he's going to kick your butt. <laughs> David went right on like he never heard. talks to me like gives me a push from behind or a kick in the pants or something and he'll, he'll say something like I gave you some gifts, some talent how about we start there and so, uh, and so I wrote um, and uh, every time I play this song which is about every time I play um, I'm praying that as I throw my little pebble out onto the pond, the ripples will, will catch and uh, the create waves of change. We 
We are one under his name. No matter our color, no matter our shame, no matter how different, we're all the same. We're a rainbow of faith, hope and love under the sun. Gave me food, he gave me shelter, he gave me comfort from the storm. You raised me up, you taught me to see what you did for my brother, you did for me under the sun.
it said, let God's children stand, you should stand. <laughs> and because this is a song of praise, this is a song about people who have been to the mountaintop and they come back down and talk about change that's going to come. And people are wide-eyed and they're listening and they're so excited to go, Woo! which is what you'll do. Let God's children stand Woo! and say amen. And then you can sit back down. Now, if you can't stand, I get it, I get it. I'm real close to writing another line in the chorus that says, let God's children stand. Because that's usually the sound I make as I get ready to stand. But I'm already standing. And so, um, now, so if you can't stand, that's okay. You can still move. I played this song in, in Birmingham, England, and about right there was a woman in a wheelchair, loudest whooper you ever heard about. <laughs> so, uh, now you have to anticipate this just a little bit. Otherwise, we get let God's children stand. Whoop, 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 whoop. It sounds like three students. We don't want to. And if you want to clap, that's okay. I don't encourage that at my home church. They're terrible clappers. <laughs> Max, aren't they? They're bad clappers. And uh, I mean, when they start clapping, it sounds like a smattering of applause. That's <laughs> All right, you want to try? Say amen. Say amen.
Ready to pair of cards? Our card this morning we have from Shelby White. My grandson Joshua Higgins married Michelle Pula Friday, uh, June 9th in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, Heather and Jim Menz of Mother Joy, birth of a new grandson on June 9th. Tatum, Timothy Oaks. Parents are Anna and Tyler Oaks. The reason the, the rose on the altar is in the honor of that birth. For that, another joy, Billy Harper, Brenda Klingler, celebrating her 80th birthday. Silent prayer. Usually it's a silent time of prayer or confession and prayer for those whose names are listed up. But also like the time to, to pray and give thanks for and home and give thanks to where we are. You know, that's the church of Let us pray. Loving and almighty God, thank you for this morning. It's great to be with you and you to be with us to share our joys, to share our concerns. We know our journeys could be difficult at times. These times will come for those whose name you lifted up. May your abundant love comfort them in their stress. Comfort also families and friends who share their journeys. We pray for your healing grace to those in need, but also with those in whose care they are. And please celebrate with us the joys we raised this morning. And more joys and concerns. What a blessing. With grateful hearts, we acknowledge the gift of the arts. You are the creator of beauty and inspired so many to be to learn and share their talents. Thank you for some of that beauty we have just enjoyed. We pray that you continue to bless Dan Holmes and his ministry. Among all the beauty and good there is in this world, there exists also much that troubles us. We 
gave the world what to teach us, to show us the way, to light our path, to be with us always. Yet we often choose to walk in darkness or pull our wall. Forgive us, we pray. The one who you sent and called Emmanuel, God with us. We especially give thanks this morning for all the Emmanuels in our lives. The doctors and medical personnel of Emmanuel that cure and manage our care. Police and firefighter Emmanuel that protect us. Military personnel Emmanuel to secure our freedom. Educator Emmanuel, charged with the awesome responsibility to shape the minds of smart leaders. It is with a heavy heart, Almighty God, that we sadly confess hatred has become mainstay in America. The commandment to love your neighbor as yourself is almost impossible because of our tolerance for those who are different from us and those with whom we disagree. To replace hatred with love, most loving Father, forgive us and help us to understand that who wants you to be is none of our business. There is no reason to hate. Who wants you to so love is none of our business. There is no reason to hate. Who one votes for is none of our business. There is no reason to hate. How one chooses to worship and serve you is none of our business. There's no reason to hate. Where one is born or the color of her skin, there's no reason to hate. To fulfill our mission statement as we're this morning and every morning in worship, that is our business. We pray for the United Methodist Church and the Global Methodist Church, that despite the differences, will thrive as long as these churches remain centered on Jesus Christ. And here at the Antioch United Methodist Church, we pray, give thanks for Pastor Katie, the leadership, and all who gather here who are centered in Jesus Christ. It is in that center that we pray as we call us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Said I hold it, it ain't much as she gave it away. God cares for the birds, the flowers, and the trees, and I know that He will take good care of me. It ain't always easy living day to day.
comfort in His grace. May your soul be at peace. Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit.